Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, I have brought out my 10 point Viper S400 crossbow. This is absolutely 100% a precision instrument crossbow. Very nice, tons of safety features. This one, the uh, Viper S400 shoots up to 400 feet per second. That is zipping it. Came with this optic. I just slapped this thing on top, torqued it down to where I know uh, it's not going to move on us. I've got a deer crossbow target, um, and we're just going to get it dialed in. Uh, let me pop up a reticle that's in here real quick, and I'll show you. But you can see, if you're not familiar uh, with some of these crossbow reticles, I'll put up a picture of this one. I'm going to sight it in for the top dot to be at 20 yards dead on, and then it'll go down from there, 30, 40, 50. Um, you guys get the gist, but definitely going to be using this for whitetail season here in Tennessee. Uh, you're allowed to use crossbows, have been able to for um, quite a few years now. That's what this video is going to be. Our first time at the range, just taking our time, showing you how it works, and getting it sighted in, dialed in perfect. So when we take it out in the deer woods, we'll be ready to go. Let's uh, get up here to the bench, crank it up and uh, fling an arrow with it. See how much adjusting we gotta do right off the bat. Shouldn't be too much, I don't think. I gotta say this real quick, just so you guys know. Back in the day when I first started bow hunting, we used a bale of hay as our target. Five dollars at the store, the, the bale of straw, square bale. Uh, this stuff these days, you cannot do that. It's so fast, it'll zip right through a bale of hay. You put three or four bales of hay, well then you're going to lose your arrow. Uh, but let me show you the crossbow target I bought for us today. Uh, had to have a crossbow target. I went down to the store and bought this thing. Uh, I just put it together, you can see right here. To tell you the truth, I think this was way too expensive. But if you look, that's just what they go for. I paid 120 beans to have a fake deer target. I figured they'd be like 50 bucks, but now nah, they're all expensive. I figure, well... Might as well get a deer target, uh, but I'm going to put him back at 20 yards and we're going to send an arrow from a rest and we're going to get it dialed in. I'm going to aim for the heart right there, just as our point of reference for when we're dialing in that scope if we need to make some adjustments. I'm going to aim for right there. Alright, so I got my deer set up out here. This is where we normally sight in rifles at 100 yards, but uh, I got my deer in the ground here. I'm going to get my range finder out. Uh, I'll probably do 20 steps and then just get my rangefinder out, verify I'm not at 15 or 25, get close to 20, and then uh, we're going to take a shot and fling an arrow and see what, she's, see what she feels like. Triggers on these things, better than uh, quite a few rifle triggers I've shot. So these are very, very nice crossbows, but let me go get my rangefinder. All right, so you can see my deer is right there. I took 20 steps. My range finder says that that's 31 yards, so I went back and took 20 smaller steps, and I'm pretty much at the same spot, so I don't think my range finder is working very well at closer ranges, but I think this is pretty close to 20 yards. Maybe we'll use this a little bit further and see if it helps us. I might have to get a new range finder for deer season uh, if this sucker's not going to work right, but 20 paces. Uh, let me get my rest out here my bog, uh, really focus on this trigger squeeze, just like when we sight in the bing bangs, and squeeze one off on that deer heart with the 20 yard pin, and we'll make some adjustments from there. Check it out. I'm excited. All right, so one of the coolest things about this crossbow is some of the safety features and how you load it. I've already got my grabber thing, the string grabber I call it, down here and locked on the cord. Then I'm going to take my handle and watch this. I'm going to start cranking it. And what the book says was that this only takes five pounds of force to crank it, meaning anyone could crank it. Kids, you know, my wife or whatever. But check this out, the coolest thing, I can let go of that. So. We've put tension on the string. You might think or expect that to unwind or, you know, 
you let go of that it's just going to fling the handle off somewhere but it has a braking system here in the stock with their AccuSlide they call it their AccuSlide system where you can stop it right there it's completely safe but let's go ahead and cock it back here in place all the way back to the back and once we hear it click it says right here back wind crank handle three times after crossbow is fully cocked so we're gonna undo this three times on the handle here one two three and what that does is takes it out of the bind that we had it in all the way to the back then just like you might expect we've got a safety button here safe is back fire is front words I've got red paint there to show that frontwards is fire. Then you're going to take your bolt or arrow, whatever you want to call it, take the opposite color and put that opposite color down. Into the path here. And then you're going to make sure it's all the way back with that knock all the way back up against here then we're ready to go once we take it off a of safe and fling this arrow down range but let's get set up on this deer take our first shot and see about if we need to adjust the scope and how much should be pretty cool but that's how you um, bring this string back if you're familiar with crossbows um, then you would know you know my first crossbow, I should have brought it out here today, I could cock it by just putting the stock in my chest and pulling the string back with my hand. Uh, modern crossbows, you can't do that anymore. This is what they call their AccuSlide system. You just saw me crank it there. It's super easy. It's super safe. I'm not worried about knocking my teeth out or, or anything like that. Um, safe is key. Absolutely love it. But... That's way too much yapping. We're out here to sight this thing in, so let's get set up on this deer. Turn the other camera on. See where we hit on that heart. I'm going to aim square for the heart. reason I got this on my tripod so I can take me out of the equation. Just really focus on that trigger squeeze and make sure that I'm sending that arrow exactly when I have the, uh, the dot right on the heart of that deer. So let's go fling one. All right, so like I said, got this locked in on my bipod here really going to focus on our trigger squeeze we want to get this perfect when it comes to deer hunting there is no playing around or guessing i want to be confident when i squeeze this trigger on a whitetail it's going to hit exactly where i want it to so look at that top circle here safety off grab the bottom rail down here and send it with that top dot All right, I shot him in the leg. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Yep, y'all saw it. Uh, I got that on camera. Um, so, I need to bring it up a lot. So, hey, I shot that thing in the leg, man. Yeah, oh, I've been sitting here all time. Just like we would for a bing bang, I'm gonna adjust this scope down to where that arrow hit the leg. That wasn't perfect, but I think it's going to be pretty close. Now let's do the left and right. It's left. It needs to go right, so click it that way. Now uh, let's take a second shot here. <clears throat> Hopefully this one hits closer to the deer heart than the, uh, the first one. We don't want to get him in the leg now. <clears throat> we'll probably have to make at least one more adjustment after this, but I think this one ought to be a lot closer than the leg there. Ooh. Pretty close to the heart. Let's go down there and take a look real quick. Oh no, I can zoom it from this camera right here. So, I'm going to make a little adjustment to bring that arrow up to the center of that heart, then we'll take another shot. Let's go for shot number three and hope we hit this deer in the heart and we'll go back a little bit further if we do. 
Good shot. I think that was a good one. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I like this thing. Where are we at on the heart there? Let's zoom in on them. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take it a couple clicks to the right and then we'll go back to 30 yards. All right, so I made that last final adjustment. Let me take one more shot at 20 yards. <coughs> Just to make sure we're dead on before we go trying to any further. 20 yards should be pretty perfect here. Let me take a look on this other camera. Might bring it up just a shade. I'm going to click her up just one click. And we're going to go back to 30 yards. Back at 30 yards now. Let's see how close we can get on that little heart target from 30 yards. I'm not gonna use the top pin this time. I'm gonna use the uh, pin, but the second from the top pin for 30 yards. Send another one from 30. <clears throat> right where that one before it was. Now, let me go get those arrows. We'll get reset. We'll go back to 40 yards. So, I'm really impressed with this. I ran down and got the camera so I could show you guys. So, this uh, arrow at the bottom, this one, was my 20-yard shot. And then I just went back to 30 yards and used a different pin. And those were in the shadows here. But those two at the top were my two 30-yard shots. That reticle works, guys. So, pretty cool stuff. Let's take a shot at 40, or two at 40, on those 30 yard ones. Apparently I shot the knock off of one of those. The shots were so close, but let's take two shots at 40 and see where we hit here. Here we go. Not the top pin, not the one below that, but the third pin from the top for 40 yards. I'm gonna hold the center. Uh, I was gonna say center of the lung, but let's go ahead and just aim for that heart again. See where we're hitting. Looks like we hit exactly where we were aiming. Let's uh, send another one. This next one I'm gonna aim for the middle of the lungs. I do not wanna shoot my arrows again. These things are not uh, exactly cheap. So this next one, I'm gonna aim for the middle of the lung. All right, second shot at 40 yards. Aiming for the middle of the lung down there. Middle of the lung. Got him. So. Even at 40 yards, we're hitting where we're aiming, guys. I'm pretty impressed. How oh, we got all these out, we might as well go to 50. All right now, guys, I'm gonna send two of them at 50 yards. So, not the top pin, that's 20, then 30, then 40, then 50. We're four pins down in this reticle here. But aim square on for the heart, 50 yards. So far, really impressed with how it's worked out so far. It looks like we hit the bottom of the lungs there. All right, let's send another one at 50. Dead on the heart. Very, very impressive how this radical stepping is actually working very very cool so there you have it guys sighting in this 10 point viper s400 i didn't do a single shot off camera you guys that know me know that we're a no nonsense channel what you see is what you get we don't edit anything out uh, that being said super super impressed with this thing uh, i got that deer target in the leg at first but um, just like you would anything else, um, a few clickies on the scope at 20 yards, we got it dead on that heart target. Um, went back to 30, same thing, we're hitting 40, same thing. Even back there at 50 yards, um, we're hitting what we're aiming at. So there's definitely something to be said with the reticle in these scopes that comes with it. I gotta tell you, I was a little bit skeptic skeptical, uh, but... The, uh, the proof is right there in the video, guys. It works just like it's supposed to. Uh, I dig it. Uh, especially this cocking system. 
works very very good this thing is packed full of safety features which is what you want in a crossbow comment down below uh, what do you think about this 10 point do you have one do you have any questions uh, what else do you want to see us do in a video uh, we got to do some kind of trick shots with apples or something right appreciate y'all watching again the 10 point viper s 400 gotta love it it's a smooth operation piece of equipment there appreciate y'all we'll see y'all in the next one Hoo -hoo. Oh. Like to shoot and fail